Hey everyone, Jen Loves Wrestling here. Hope you're having a great day. Hope everybody is staying happy and staying healthy and staying safe. And you know who might not be safe right now? Alexa Bliss. That's right guys, we had a very interesting episode of SmackDown. Uh, we can discuss it, we can discuss um, whatever you guys want to discuss, uh, any of the other happenings on SmackDown or WWE in general. Um, not uh, limited to, but also including the continued dominance of Bailey and Sasha Banks. Uh, but anything else you guys want to discuss, just feel free to leave it in the comment section and we can talk about it. Uh, but for right now, we're going to fast forward to around the last five minutes of SmackDown, because that's where it gets really juicy. Alright, so we're going to take you to Bailey versus Nikki Cross. The final few seconds of that match were so good. Um, very dramatic, very you didn't know which way it was going to go. You have Nikki Cross, who is fighting to obtain some singles gold in WWE. You have Bayley, who is fighting to continue her dominant reign. And uh, Bayley managed to squeak this one out again. So the era of Sasha and Bayley continues. Alright, um, I do love Nikki Cross, though, as well. But uh, Nikki Cross was not uh, loving life in that moment, though. Um, a distraught Nikki Cross was in the ring. Alexa Bliss decided to come and try and comfort her. And uh, Nikki was not um, in a positive way. She was, not, uh, she was not happy. She was very frustrated with herself, frustrated with these losses. And she was frustrated in general so much to the point that she shoved her best friend Alexa Bliss. And she ran out of the ring, leaving a heartbroken and startled Alexa Bliss in the middle of the ring and then all of a sudden boom 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 the fiend comes out and the fiend is looming over a terrified shaky Alexa Bliss and he gets closer and he starts to position himself in front of her and I'm thinking to myself okay this is gonna be a tease he's not he's not really he's not gonna hurt her um, we've seen her, um, her presence in the match, the Swamp Fight, with Braun Strowman. We know her history with Braun Strowman. So, where does Alexa fit into this? Was she going to be captured and she was going to be, um, either willingly or unwillingly now a part of Bray's stable, the Fiend stable? Um, but no, she, uh... The Fiend did attack her, and it was a very shocking moment, and it came off as very horror movie-like, which you know I love, you guys. Um, and after it went off the air, it was just one of those moments where you're just like, oh my god, like, what's gonna happen next? I cannot wait for next Friday to find out where is this gonna go. Um, so I don't know, I, I thought the last five minutes of SmackDown was the, the three last segments all tied into each other. Um, it was like one awesome flowing story. It was so creative. It was so dramatic. Um, I personally really enjoyed it. Um, probably the best ending of a show I've seen in a while. It was really, really great, um, for me. So, um, but what did you guys think? Uh, feel free to drop it in the comment section and don't forget to like, to subscribe, to share, all that stuff. Get the notifications. Find out what the next General of Wrestling video is. And enjoy your out tonight, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Love ya. Mwah.